And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Treasure Vault, our first meme tier Monday deck today. Uh, we have four donation decks for our meme tier Monday decks. This one looks pretty fun. So what we're going to be doing here is we are going to be playing a Vaults of Helia deck. All right, so that was kind of the, the challenge, was build a, a Vaults of Helia deck. Because um, we don't really see very much Vaults of Helia around these days. So round start, kill your most expensive ally to summon an ally from your deck that cost one more. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to pair that with Deep. Now, the reason why that's important is because a lot of these deep cards are summon abilities. Um, and so, you know, like if you either summon or last breath, you know, you can kill a dredge dredgers with your Vault of Helia and put in a Thorny Toad. And that will help you just toss and get, get more cards out of your deck, get, get you down to, to being deep faster. You know, kill your Thorny Toad, put in a Dead Bloom Wanderer and be able to, it's a summon, toss three. Or a Jaw Hunter's summon, create a random sea monster. But kind of the point of our deck, though, the reason why we're doing all this is to have our Vaults of Helia go up the chain and get us to Shipwreck Hoarder. Of course, Shipwreck Hoarder, whenever um, someone tossed two and then shuffled two treasures into the deck. So what we're trying to do is use Vaults of Helia, put Shipwreck Hoarders into our deck, and uh, get some treasures. So that's, that's what we're going to be trying to do. Now, Shipwreck Hoarder costs seven, the same as Nautilus. So that's kind of awkward. You know, sometimes we'll get Nautilus, sometimes we'll get Shipwreck Hoarder. Nothing wrong with getting Nautilus, of course. But maybe how could we get both? What if we want well, Vaults of Helia to get a, get a Shipwreck Hoarder and a Nautilus? Well, we can do that with the help of Lure the Depths, because Lure the Depths can reduce the cost of our Sea Monster allies everywhere by one. So then if we cast Lure the Depths, now our Shipwreck Hoarder costs six. And so the Vaults of Helia will uh, get a six mana Shipwreck Hoarder first, and then we'll be able to kill the Shipwreck Hoarder and go get Nautilus. Uh, afterwards so that's our that's our chain that's what we're going to be trying to do and of course just use all these other cards to <clears throat> um you know to toss all the stuff from our deck go deep as fast as possible and just make it so like the rest of our deck is just treasures and champions and get more treasures also go with a bunch of stalking shadows in here because Stalking Shadows being able to grab these cheap toss cards, especially like Dredge Dredgers or Dead Bloom Wanderer, pretty awesome. Plus, Stalking Shadows is another way that we can find Shipwreck Hoarder for even more Shipwreck Hoarders. So that's all the stuff that our deck's doing. A pretty cool version of Deep with uh, Treasures and with Vaults of Helia. So let's see how we do. Uh, we're playing over in Normal today because it's, it's Meme Tier Day. We got some janky decks today, um, but we're... Uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing in normal. Usually when people play a landmark in this deck, they play the other landmark with Bilgewater. They play the Slaughter Docks, but we're going Vaults of Helia. Okay, we're going to keep... I'm going to mulligan these two. We're going to keep one Lure of the Depths. We don't necessarily need to keep the other. I'll simply pass for now. Cool, there's Vault of Helia. Bask in her radiant blessing. Okay. So we kinda of have to remember like what we're tossing, like with our vaults and everything. Well, we're not necessarily the best cards to toss. I would love to be able to play Vault of Helia this turn. And then have Vault of Helia turn the Dead Bloom Wanderer into a Maokai. That would be pretty nice. Uh, but I'm going to go with the Stalking Shadows to start with. I think. I guess I could go Lure. Targon's history is in each stone and star. See if we draw the 5 mana Sea Monster and then you know be able to play that this turn. Which I guess if I was planning on doing that, I would have play played that in attack, so... We'll just go with the Stalking Shadows. Abyssal Eye, that's the one I was thinking of. Blooding guts, golden glory. Shipwreck Order. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess I could have done that first. Then, you know, I would have found Jaw Hunters to be able to challenge Mountain Scryer, which would have been nice. Unyielding light. Okay, 
So right now we haven't played Lure of the Depths yet. So four, our only four mana thing is Maokai. So these, so we'll kill one of these and put Maokai into play, which is pretty nice. So next turn we're just gonna have a Maokai, and then be able to play a Devourer Depths also. Oh wow. That is quite unfortunate. That's quite unfortunate. Forward in the name of the Solari. My spirit shines. Yeah, celestial cards are pretty fair. Yeah, they're pretty fair. Okay, so plan is to have uh, this Devour and Depths in play that costs five, the Vault of Helia, uh, kill it, put a Shipwreck Order into play. It will be our last Shipwreck Order. I don't really mind that. They spent four mana just to keep that. Uh, 4-4 four, four alive, I don't, I don't really mind that that much. So where we're at, 23? We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Punishment. Was that another shipwreck order? Oh, right, right, because one was created by Jaw Hunters, so I still did have one in the deck. So we're five away from deep. Because then Vault, so Vault of Helia is going to put uh, Nautilus into play, and so if we if we can go deep, then our not you know then we'll be able to start playing all these other things for very cheap. Um. No! I don't get to cast that card. The Endless March. Alright, so we're at 17. We're like the dredge treasures, but we'll take that. Okay, so now we're deep, and we have Nautilus in play, so we can start unloading all these other treasure cards for much cheaper. We have two mana shipwreck order, one mana devourer, zero mana abyssal eye. No, I guess I'll just let that happen. I was gonna be able to unload all four of these. That would have been great. Man, celestial celestial cards are pretty fair. At least now we're gonna put a Maokai into play for free. That's pretty cool. Oh, I guess I guess it could be Maokai or it could be Abyssal Eye, right? Because we we played the Lure of the Depth, so it may be Abyssal Eye. But we go and harvest it. I don't know. Do I just pass? It's probably not that important to kill the Mountain Scryer. I kind of like them wasting their mana. Sure, we'll have them waste their turn. Ah, we only had one Abyssal Eye left in our deck, and we had three Maokais. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds Hey, Potato. We're looking for more Obliterate. All right, so now our Vaults of Heliod's done its job. It, you know, put a, put this stuff into play. It's done its job, so we can get rid of it now. Fill their lungs. 
attack. You cannot sway me. No mercy for heretics. This was pretty sweet. Fall, heretic. Getting a free. Believe or burn. <clears throat> um, you know, getting a free shipwreck order into play, a free Nautilus into play. This was pretty sweet. So let's put them down to 14. Okay. So you cannot riptide your own things. Yeah, like how they, they obliterate. So we can't we cannot riptide our own at Nautilus, unfortunately. Which would be cool. You know, like that's what I wanted to do the, the last time. From the deep. From the deep. play another devour but let's get some more treasures more treasures so we should have a bunch of treasures in in our deck we should have five so we have five treasures and three maokai <laughs> so that's that's eight of our 11 cards all right their treasure maokai yeah we're still over here drawing thorny toads uh, let's see. So this will be... Yeah, we can play this and still cast the five cards. So, sure. Let's see what we get. Oh, unyielding spirit! Proud warriors of the the slaughtered ox. Well, I don't think we're really playing standalone. Out before they know they're bleeding. Y'all, man, maybe we need to make a meme deck around Unyielding Spirit plus Atrocity. That seems like a crazy meme deck idea. Because then it, it can't die, but then we say kill it. It, it does work. The only thing is they, they're a hush deck, so they could play hush. But yeah, it does work because so, you know you're supposed to kill an ally, but you but it can't die. So we could just. I guess it says two deal damage. So actually, maybe it doesn't because you kill the ally to deal the damage. It should. Forward, forward. But didn't get the chance to, to try it out. Game of the week. That was a good game. And our our, vault, our vaults of Helia did exactly what we wanted. It put, um, you know, put the shipwreck order into play. Then Nautilus. So it did its thing. Fiora Shen. Let's keep stalking shadows. Deadburn Wanderer. Okay, I like this black spear. I could go good with a Deadbloom Wanderer to take down a Fiora. Yeah, I think it, yeah, I think Atrocity with Unyielding Spirit should work. Where just you know, like it would have just done 13 damage to them, but then our Nautilus would not die. I'm pretty sure that's how that would work. Really expecting all these young witches. Hmm. What do you got? The balance requires a watchful eye. Shen. 
I was hoping for Fiora, because I could challenge Fiora better. It's harder to challenge Shen. Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd trade Dead Bloom Wanderer and Black Spear for Shen, though. I haven't really been paying that close attention to the things that have been dying. Or the things I've been tossing as far as the numbers with Vault of Helia. And this is a deck you probably do need to pay attention to that kind of stuff. Just in case, because if I block and then they use like single combat or something, you know, like I play my Vault of Helia, they kill my 3 2, then, you know, our Vault of Helia doesn't do anything this turn. So just in case they've killed a 3 2, then we still have the Dredgers to put a Thorny Toad into play. Alright, we'll go get a Maokai. Maokai's cool. Corruption everywhere. Man, and then Vault of Helia just turns on Black Spear. That's good deck building. So I think I'm playing Abyssal Eye. This turn, but maybe Jaw Hunters. We'll see. Let's play this and kind of find out. Let's see what they do. Man, we are tossing pretty fast. If I play Jaw Hunters and challenge with Jaw Hunters, then the Vault is going to kill my Maokai to put in an Abyssal Eye. Or I put in Abyssal Eye. And we're killing Abyssal Eye and putting in Devourer. That at least gets me closer to getting free Shipwreck Order Nautilus. And I feel like I should keep Maokai in play. Man, they're just wasting all their mana. I know I could attack and everything, but I kind of want to pass. Like, we're doing good here. You know, obviously I could, you know, challenge a Young Witch, attack with a 6 6. It's a very good attack. But then they get to play stuff afterwards. Yeah, I, I kind of just feel like I pass. Have them waste all their mana. With me. Your instinct is to play Nautilus, but I honestly think I wait a turn before playing Nautilus. Because if I play Nautilus, then we don't get free Nautilus. I think I want Devourer to turn into Shipwreck Order or Nautilus for free. I assume they're going to challenge Maokai. some of these 1-1s one now. Need to clear on, the Rip. space. I have nine cards left in my deck. Probably, probably Nautilus, yep. Now I have all this mana to use on cool things. Like Shipwreck Order. Make a couple treasures in the deck. 
Leveling up Maokai. This deck's pretty sweet. And now we'll, we will replace the Vault of Helia. We do not need that anymore. I tire of waiting. Together at last. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool people tested Unyielding Spirit atrocity against the AI. It does work. Awesome. Both of their things have to block. You like frogs, huh? Seem like maybe they should have been saving like the Shen instead of shaving instead of saving at this young winch. Can't just take all this damage. And so atrocity should finish this game. Whatever they block, I atrocity. Or they just ran out of time. But we had that. Dude, Treasure Vault is pretty sweet. Hmm. This could be like Karina Control, or it could be like a Prankster Aggro. It could really be either one. I like this opening hand though, we're gonna keep that. I like all these cards. Dude, this Vault of Helia has been sweet, because both games we've just put in Nautilus for free without spending mana, and therefore we've had just like leveled up Nautilus put into play, <laughs> and so then you have all your mana to, to just unload your sea monsters that same turn. Oh, it's been crazy, so Vault of Helia, pretty sweet. I know what lurks in the shadows. You do? I don't. Scary monsters. You won't suffer long. Um, so I could cast Black Spear right now on the Elise, but I'm just going to go this around. And next turn, you have like Jaw Hunters, Black Spear, the six mana for next turn. Go hard. Well, I'm glad I played the 3 2 and not the 4 1. So I guess they're a go hard deck. Letting gets golden glory. Ha, ah, more treasures. Sweet, you wanna pass the turn? Sounds good to me. Pass the turn. So I need one of these things alive at the end of this turn. Don't kill them both. Just kill kill one, kill neither. No. No. We must all make sacrifices. Need one of those things alive. All right, so they look like they're like a Karina control deck. That's what it looks like. So unfortunately, I've drawn three Nautilus and two Vaults of Helia. So <laughs> this isn't the best. Oh come on, really? I guess I just save. Bank spell mana. <laughs> okay, that not not the best. Devil, I'm blaming you. Devil said, I need streamer luck. I tried making a Vault to Helia deck and I only drew Vault to Helia one time in 18 games. You had to say streamer luck and then we get stuck with all this stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I can, so this can toss three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they, they are at 10 cards. 
We're gonna have to play stuff. Six away from deep. I guess I should have, yeah, I should have unloaded Nautilus because then I could have had Riptide for this. I was just thinking of like putting treasures into the deck and, and then trying to dig for treasure. Give me stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> but I should have played Nautilus for Riptide. They will learn to fear the yeah, they're a Karina control deck. Each all right, well, that's, sometimes you just draw two Vaults of Helia, two Shipwreck Orders, three Nautilus, and things just do not work out. It's our only card to survive this attack. Obviously, I'm just going to be dead pretty soon. You're a 5-drop. So if I play Vault of Helia... Yeah, I don't even have a Nautilus in my deck. Surprised they don't have any kind of damage spell to kill me, but maybe that's uh, next turn with the Karina Veraza. All right, two and one. Let's try not to draw all three Nautiluses again. Let's try not to do that. Okay. Play some spiders. I don't know. It's like not. These three drops like aren't bad. It's not that they're bad. I just really want my one and two mana card. And so I just digging, you know, looking for either the one drop or the two drop. Really, Thorny Toad? Really? <laughs> Show up on turn three? A little late there, pal. Little late. Yeah, we had... No, yeah, we just had... Um, Adam wanted to ask how the games are going. We had one... Or we had two great games and then just one not good game. I would rather block with Thorny Toad than block with Maokai, but this mana wise, I think I should be playing the Maokai. You defile the grove. Yeah, we drew all of our top end in the last game. Forest. 
Jaw Hunters. We can, we'll double spell with Thorny Toad, Thorny Toad and Jaw Hunters. Do the Thorny Toad, Thorny Toad at first to see what they play. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Go and harvest it. Good. Pretty good. Um, I haven't completely decided what I'm going to be playing for the seasonal tournament yet, but we'll be just fine. Yeah, I'm ready enough for it. Okay, so we're still 11 away from deep. I do want to play this Voltahelia. So I think that's what I'm going to do this turn. I think we're going to play Dredge Dredgers and Voltahelia. There's our one Vengeance. So we are still 8 away from deep. Because so, Helia will put... will change... This Devour into Nautilus for Shipwreck Order. No, that, that's what we did. That's what we did yesterday. We um, played the decks that I'm thinking about playing for the seasonal tournament. Black Spear, I don't think we have to. At least not yet. We'll see if they use like some kind of pump spells. I wouldn't mind them killing the shipwreck order though, and then we start over on the Vaultilia. Wouldn't necessarily mind that. We'll play that and this. Almost a spider. Spider. Who is your god? I didn't know spiders cared about gods. God, Spider. Who is your God? Fine, you can draw your two cards. Draw Vile Feast. No, Vile Feast this thing. See what they do. Yay. Now we 
damage on our card. Now we're deep because we were two away, so you know, like the Nautilus comes into play. And now we're suddenly deep. The water rises. And now we get to attack with all these cool sea monsters. Being all deep and stuff. Sweet. Alright, there we go. GG's. Treasure Vaults. We had the good treasure card getting us the 355. Five. And Gort's Vault of Helia. Okay, Ezreal Swain. This will be interesting to see how this works out. So we want our cheap cards. That's not you. Oh yeah, we're playing Lure the Depths. That card's good. I'm gonna mulligan Jaw Hunters because it just dies too easily. Oh, no, too expensive. <laughs> we all five games we have not played. I don't think we've played a one drop or a two drop any of the five games. Oh, we got a one drop. I had to say something. I had to say something. We did draw one drop, but you know, now I want lure the depths. I'll pass. Do you want to waste your mana still? Ooh, they do want to waste their mana. Okay, so I could play something, but then they they just use removal spell on my thing, and then and then you know they get to use some mana. Or I just pass. I think I'll play this. Yeah, they're too scared to kill it anyway. Gives me another thing for like the Vault of Helia being in play, so that's good. Ooh, that shipwreck order is tempting. Ooh, that shipwreck order is tempting. Get more treasures. But it is just another expensive card. That's alright. We're treasure vaults. We can we can get some um Expensive cards. We can get some treasure. I got ways to find me See how Go there, vaults. So why is lure here? No, it helps out vault because I I want the vaults to. I want to turn the shipwreck quarter into a six drop card, a six cost card, so that so that we go like with the vault of Hilo, we you know we put shipwreck quarter into play first, get some treasures, and then we kill shipwreck quarter, put Nautilus into play. I don't know. Considering blocking here, I don't. I want to keep my life total as high as possible. Like the only way that they kill me is they like you know burn me out. So I want to keep my life total as high as possible. I know I can just block with this thing. I guess I do that. Yeah, I guess I do that. So the problem with playing Vault of Helia right now is they'll use removal on my Abyssal Eye, and then my Vault of Helia won't do anything. That is the slight problem with playing it right now. So besides that, I can just play Thorny Toad and Jaw Hunters, which I guess I'm just going to do that. So maybe this won't really work for Vault of Helia for this. No, Nautilus is the top end. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Which we have uh, done three times. All three of the games that we've won, we've had Vault of Helia put a free Nautilus into play. And that's pretty awesome, putting a free Nautilus into play, and then and then you still have all your mana for turn to just unload sea monsters. I don't really know why I didn't just, just attack with the Abyssal Eye. I should have. Probably. I don't know. Put a couple treasures in there. Later. Can't double spell. 
<laughs> I don't have two two cards that cost less than four in my hand. That's kind of crazy. Go put Nautilus into play. <clears throat> so now our other Nautilus can be Riptide. The endless march. Mm. I was hoping for something that could. We're so close to being deep. Oh, we're six away? Oh, I thought they were a lot closer than that. Okay, never mind me. We're not that actually that close. Come to me. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when Okay, so I don't have vengeance anymore, but I do have the Nautilus Riptide. So we're gonna go ahead and, and try that. Alright, I guess that was the door. I guess I should probably see what that was. <clears throat> Somebody knocked on the door. BRB. The tide rises. Pest control people are here. Um, down with you. Still five away from deep. Okay, so they're gonna have like the thing that kills a damage unit. Your cause is lost, Triad. Why fight? Because no one else will. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Bleed for nothing. Victory awaits. Yeah, I don't think they're necessarily scared of the Maokai win condition, because I'm at 9 out of 25. They they don't want Maokai to toss and get me closer to the 15, I don't I think. I think that's really what it was more a boot. So we're four away. I can do two with the shipwreck order, but then it just puts the two back. So it doesn't necessarily help. Wait, so they have the other Swains in hand. They played a Leviathan before. They didn't put a Swain in their hand. So they're okay. So they're chilling with just Ravenous Flocks in hand. Your cause is lost, Triad. Why fight? Because no one else will. Not us will level up. By level me up, you know, put put me deep. So we're gonna go deep now. The water rises. I expect them to have like the card. Okay, I guess they don't have the kill a damage unit card. All right, GG. We got even more treasures in our hand, and our opponent's like, "Yeah, that, that one's over." Like I said, pest control person just right outside the window spraying stuff. I need to do like an outro. <coughs> All right, you sit over here, and I'll pet you, and then you don't bork, 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 bork. Okay. All right, so there we go. There's treasure vaults. A different way to play deep. You know, this is a lot of, you know, like this is basically just a deep deck. A lot of like the same deep cards, but it's cooler because we got Vaults of Helia and I was impressed. We did, we got to uh, multiple times, I guess, technically, yeah, all four decks, all four of our wins. So four times we got to use Vaults of Helia to put Nautilus into play. And so we're not spending the seven mana on Nautilus. So we get to keep just playing other cool sea monsters that are doing cool stuff. Um, we get the Nautilus in play for free. And then we really unload the sea monsters for super cheap. So that was that was pretty awesome. Um, we didn't do we didn't do very much of like having the cheap things in play. Like we just didn't really draw dredge treasures and thorny toad that much. So we didn't really have like those cheap things in play. And then you know vaults of helia those um, upwards. Um, I know it's only one one drop, only one two drop. But then you know I had the stalking shadows in here to try to help draw dredgers and toad more often. 
But we did a good job with all that. Uh, we even got we got a free Maokai into play once, killing a Deadloom Wanderer, put Maokai into play. Like, that's pretty cool. Because then, you know, like with that, then, you know, you get the free Maokai into play, and then you just get to play your sea monster and then and, uh, get the sapling and stuff right away. Um, so, yeah, it, it all worked pretty well. I think this deck had a lot of synergy and uh, a lot of power at the top end with Nautilus plus a bunch of sea monsters plus treasures. And it just kind of sped the deck up a I mean, I guess depends on how you want to define sped up, but it sped up in the fact that we didn't have to spend seven mana to cast Nautilus and start getting the bonuses. Pretty cool deck here. Um, so there we go. That's Treasure Vaults. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.